400 and I will stomp at 400 uh, I will uh, jump at 400 pixels by second if I put it to uh, something astronomous like uh, this I will jump very very much higher beam woohoo so you don't calculate it you just set it to what you want and since since we already have a jump strength to for the speed when you jump it uh, makes kind of sense to use the, the same value for the stomping I won't handle here uh, when you want to jump to add some jump uh, you know when you want to when you're stomping your enemy and you touch jump you jump higher I don't want to handle it during this course because uh, well first you can take that take that at the challenge and also it's it n you need to un to handle a little uh, gap uh, uh, when you can push this button the jump button to add an extra uh, speed to your jump it's uh, it's not as straightforward as uh, on collision and on press bam you jump higher uh, you can't have two uh, trigger on the same uh, um, hierarchy of event I can't add uh, here for instance uh, if uh, I don't even have uh, if you want to to play with the uh, controls you have to add the keyboard uh, plugin and you know I can't uh, I can't use any trigger I should have a key pressed trigger but here I don't have any trigger I maybe I could use this one the case down up a row and do something like oh maybe up a row I set the vector y and here I can set the vector y to self dot platform platform dot mm, vector I don't have access to the vector yes I have and I can do something like this I think so here yeah I can jump higher by uh, holding the the up button, but uh, it's a bit. Um, it's not exactly what you want. Maybe I don't know. Because I can hold the up button as long as I'm jumping, I will jump higher. So I don't know. Maybe you like this. Uh, tell me, do you like this effect? Do you like how it's uh, it's made here? You. If you are stomping while you have the jump, the up arrow uh, down, you will jump higher. That's what it is uh, made here. Uh, calculate and there is a matter of tweaking trial and error. Of course, does anyone know how to ask? Uh, yeah, yeah. When you don't have any property uh, in your uh, condition, when uh, there's a property you want to access for a condition and you can't access it, you need to use the system comparison because the um, the, the programmers of uh, of plugins uh, for pro for plugin programmers, it's uh, it's not always uh, really. It's it can be a bit hard to expose every property of every object on the condition. Uh, so at some point, uh, if you want something as specific as comparing the bounding box, you need to use the system compare to value. And since the for those who didn't see yet uh, my uh, video on picking. Uh, this compare to value doesn't uh, do picking, so you have to play with uh, for each alongside it. So um, yeah, uh, compare to value. Okay, thanks. You can access through the player deck. Must be top level for keyboard. No access. Is yeah, well, some stuff you can compare with the player deck, but if you don't see it, then go with this. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, the gist of it. Oh yeah, uh, extra stomping. I will change uh, my uh, system. Uh, 
everything I will uh, modify some stuff for instance um, I will set a bounciness to my enemy which will be the strength uh, which will be added when you stomp it so I will say to 500 set it here <coughs> to enemy bounciness and here I will add if you have the upper or down I will add the jump strength so it's as if you were jumping on top of the bounciness of your enemy which uh, sound, sounds good in my ear uh, jump strength that's how you do it you can do it mm. so you are colliding with the enemy you were on top of it one frame before you destroy it you jump you bounce rather and if you have the upper or down you add to the bounciness you add the jump strength is it okay for this part is it good for uh, to you boom I'm just stomping I will add some more enemies because I'm crazy Beam. Ooh, additional jump. Is it okay? Uh, is there something that is not clear uh, for what I've done here? Because I will move on uh, to knockback. I think I will. Uh, I won't wait for your answer. I will move on to knockback. If you have any problem with this, I will read them later, because we are running out of time. Um, bim. The knockback should happen. Okay, cool, it's good. Knockback should happen if you take damage. And here is why we will uh, we want knockback because uh, you don't want to stay inside the enemy when you are touched. You want to feel a wall. You want to feel something pushing you back. Uh, the, uh, without the knockback, the enemy doesn't feel like they are hurting you. Clearly. So. Uh, I will save this part just for uh, insurance. I will handle the knockback right now here. So for knockback, uh, else it's here. Um, knockback is a um, is a kind of bounciness toward the enemy. So you will set not the vector y this time, but the horizontal vector, the horizontal velocity, if you prefer. If uh, you can uh, swap vector for uh, velocity, if it uh, sounds better to you and less uh, mathematical. Um, so you want to set the vector x to some strength. So I will add another property to my enemy. Maybe I can use the bounciness, but here I will use strength. Uh, let's say this one, because I want it to push me way harder when it's hurting me. So let's do just enemy.strength. Set uh, vector x to enemy.strength. See what happens. Nothing. Ah. When I am on one side, it's pushing me. So that's what I want. But I want it to push me on the correct side. So I have to... I will lower the number of enemies because it's not that clear here. Oh yeah, here it's pushing me, but it's not really noticeable. Here it's pushing me. Ah, I want to to pass. Here it's pushing me on the incorrect side. So I have to check where my player is according to the enemy when I'm touching the enemy. To do this, I just have to compare x. It's uh, the same idea as the checkpoint checkpoint system. I will compare if x is lower than my enemy my enemy is X the one who is colliding with me I will be pushed so let's see you can do trial and error for this but let's my enemy is here I'm here my X is lower 
than my miss, so I want to be pushed in the negative di direction. So it's minus enemy strength. Else it's positive enemy strength. Let's see. Yes, I'm pushed on this side. I'm pushed on this side. Now, uh, what I like to do uh, for knockback, well, it's knocking me back, but rather uh, it's a bit weak. Because you have to understand something about what happens here. I set vector x to minus enemy strength. Minus enemy strength is actually 1000. And I will show you that even if I put 10,000, I won't be pushed back much. Well, here I should be thrown back to the other side of the earth, but I'm just, uh, no, I'm, I'm just pushed a little bit. So why that happens? If you see, if you look at the, the platform behavior, you can see you have a max speed property, which means you can't go horizontally, you can't go faster than 330 pixels per second. And to prove, kind of prove it to you, I can set it just to 330, and I will just push, be pushed like I was pushed before. Really tiny, tiny push. So what you want to do here is to save, because you don't want to uh, change your value inside your uh, event sheet every time you, you change your parameters. So you want to save first, so uh, save the max speed. You want to change the max speed here. So he, he, here is the knockback part. Just so you uh, you aren't lost, you change the max speed to anything higher or equal to enemy strength. I will just say it to enemy strength. You don't need to go higher since you will be pushed by this value. So you set the maximum speed to enemy strength, and then after you you've been pushed back enough, you can set it back to the speed saved. Of course, I have first to save the speed. Save speed to player platform max speed. And I set it here. So I read this. I don't stomp, I take damage. I take damage, I lose some HP. Then I save my max speed. I change my max speed to the speed my enemy will give me. I take this. I set the speed here, according to where I'm. I am. Uh, if I am to the left or to the right of the enemy, and then I have to retrieve my former speed, max speed. Sorry, because else. I will just be able to go super fast if I'm not uh, wrong. Oh yeah, and me. Let's put this to ten thousand. So you see the difference. I will be projected. It will be ugly. Bam! <laughs> and I don't stop. Bam! Projected. Uh, I've become a bullet. So yeah. Cannonball, exactly. So yeah, let's put it to just 1000. It's uh, It will be uh, a lot already. Oh, I killed it by error. So here, yeah. and what you want to do is retrieve the max speed, else you will go to, uh, to Superman speed. Uh, ah. I can't stop going super fast. Ah. So yeah, you want to. Uh, what I usually do is to use the wait action because it's easy to time. I set it to something like uh, 
with 0.5 seconds, I get back my max speed from the variable.